Hola amigos, hola amigas. Welcome, bienvenido, Christ we salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Cheshnyak Shimash. Here we have a very lazy panther. He is a black cat, but he thinks he's a panther. You gonna help me today, Dexter? You gonna do some helping? Or you gonna hide the toe beans? Ooh, toe beans. All right, okay, so that's not the main thing. Today, today. we're gonna be putting together, you can see I have a large box there you would have seen in the photographs. There I have my new Keta shed that's arrived, and a Millie. And in today's video, we are going to be putting this. This is the Keta maintenance-free shed. As you can see in the box, this is four by six. I think this is called the Keta Manor Shed. Um, I have some kind of Keta products. I have the Keta little shed over there. I have another one of those, a much bigger one down at the back behind the dog run. But this is gonna go here at the bottom of the garden. I've already done the base for it. It's not immaculate, but it is level, all right? So that is where the little Keta shed is gonna go to store the stuff that is currently just hanging around here, this is gonna go into that shed. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing today is putting this together. So the first thing I have to do is get the box laid down flat. Yeah, get the box laid down flat and uh, open it up. Actually, before I do anything, I have to feed the fish because they're hungry. They look hungry, they're hungry. Let's get these fed first. Okay, so I've pulled out all the parts of the shed out of the box. Some of the parts are self-explanatory, like I know that that is the base. Those are the sides down there. That's the roof. And then we have the window and the box of hardware. Let's put it together. Okay, so there we have all the hardware and here we have the instruction booklet. So this is the MANA 4x6. What I'm gonna do, I've watched some videos on other people putting these together, so I'm gonna have a quick flick through this and I'll come back to you. Okay, um, I've had a look through the instructions. They're all step by step. They all seem pretty well labeled out. Um, one thing, that I haven't seen in other videos that this comes with is the spatula and this is to help get the edges in. So I haven't seen people use this in other videos so this should be really handy. So yeah, the spatula. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is the floor and I'm gonna do that here on the decking part. Put together, that was pretty simple, making sure that the plastic was in correctly. Now I'm going to go put it down to um, its base where it's going.
Okay, so now I got it on top of the base that it is. I have the instructions here. You can have the window fitted anywhere you want. I'm gonna have it in that side there. Not there, there or there. That's the front, that's the back. I'm gonna have the window there. So I'm following on with the instructions and if I have any issues, I will stop. Guys, that is the Keta Manor shed put together. Um, I guess it would have been easier if there were two of you, but if you're, you know, quite able, then <clears throat> sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle, but you can manage it on your own. I did have limited space, so I was able to push the shed forward and back um, to do bits of it. But yeah, making sure that the ground is completely level is an absolute must so it's all together i have made one adaption so open that make sure that you put the plastic things in the right place um, because you don't want to miss it so i put the window down this end i haven't taken the film off because it kind of like overlooks a little bit so I just wanted a little bit of a privacy so I've left that on as like a privacy the other adaption I did make was with this I got some Australian shade cloth left over which I made bigger than the the hole I cut out and then pushed the vent through because I don't want spiders and insects to get in and I think using this shade cloth will let the shed breathe but will also stop insects and stuff coming through. I've seen on other makes of shed, they have some sort of like um, netting like this. This is um, Australian shade cloth. 
I'm sure if you Google it, you'll be able to get something similar in the UK. So I've also done it to that one as well. So again, breathes. It's breathable because I use it all over the uh, lanai outside to protect it and the sunshade. Um, so I got some there as well. So that is the only adaption that I've actually made to it. But yeah, it's all together. It's um, it's really nice. I probably want wide zoom. Plenty of height. I'm five ten. Do have to scoop, scoop, uh, scoot to get down. I don't want to hit my head on this because I've done that a couple of times. But as long as you follow the instructions, they're very good step by step. The labelling of all the parts. I don't think you will have much of a problem. Now, when I was putting this in, I didn't know because it didn't seem to fit a hundred percent. So on this side, it goes down into there. And on this side, yeah, I did, yeah, I did push it down. So do push this down into it rather than having it rest in level. And then it comes down over here. See, I did make slight mistakes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screw in there to cover that error that I made. So you won't see that. But apart from that, that's the only mistake that I made, really. And, uh, yeah, it's not... You know, once you put it all together, it's a lot more stable. I mean, it's not a wooden shed or anything, but this will last, hopefully, last a lot longer. So we'll just wait and see now how it goes with rain. But I can't see it being a problem. I will say with the black roof, if you put it in a sunny spot, it will get really hot in here. But yeah, all the metal work fits in really well. I'm really chuffed. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all.